This was one of those things where we had this plan to build um, you know, a, an entirely new way to present live musical theater with unique performances each and every curtain. And, um, and suddenly the world needed that. My name is Joshua Bernard, and I am the co-founder of Luma Projection Arts Festival. So I moved to Binghamton, New York um, from downstate in 2005, and I just kind of fell in love with the town. As downtown became a better and better place to hang out, to live, uh, we started to think about how we could, we could develop more tourism. That's when we really started to think, we need to do something that's so outside the box, so original, so unique, that um, they were gonna come and check out this quirky little town because we were doing something that no one else was doing. Luma is a festival that celebrates the convergence of art, of technology, and of narrative. Um, our core competency is projection mapping. So the art of transforming buildings with giant powerful projectors and telling stories using the facades of these uh, unique buildings. Now projection mapping is the art of uh, projecting giant, um, uh, realistic sized animations on the facades of buildings to create the illusion that they're transforming as if by magic. So uh, City Hall um, turns into the Great Pyramids. So you walk through downtown Binghamton, which we've completely taken over in your own time. Everything's closed off the streets, it's all pedestrians, and every street corner has something to see that is just magical. It's like we suddenly become a theme park for the weekend. When we started, it was a lot of locals. Um, we now attract an audience of 50,000 people, and Binghamton is a city of only around 40,000 people. Um, for this project, uh, we really, really wanted it to be free. And so, it has been, in, as it has been in past years, we're relying on sponsors to pay for the event. Um, and we also are running a GoFundMe. Um, and, and this will actually be our sixth year of crowdfunding. People are fascinated by the stories. So everyone finds something to like at Luma. Um, and the crowds are just warm, lovely, and friendly. So, um, uh, you know, I'm kind of a news junkie and, and beginning in February, I, I became a little bit convinced that, that we might not be able to do Luma in the fall. You know, what happened with, with, with COVID and the economy was external forces said, you cannot produce the same thing you always produce. You cannot do it. As much as you want to do it, it cannot happen. Uh, and then we started to look at live motion capture technology. Could we actually do this live in real time over the internet? where the, 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 the people you encountered in virtual reality were actors. Um, and the answer is you can. The answer is not a lot of people are doing it. It's relatively new technology. I started to think this is what Luma can offer. We have the programmers, we have the technologists, we have the network engineers to build the technologies that would make art work organically, um, socially distanced from home, among a community. And our solution is Miranda, a steampunk, uh, VR theater experience. We're, we're using some of the same core competencies and technologies for projection mapping, but instead of projection mapping, we're doing it with 3D animation and with uh, virtual reality. We're building a platform to present live performance art over the internet that is fully immersive in a way never really before done. You can experience it one of two different ways. Uh, if you have full VR equipment, uh, it's going to be a fully immersive theater experience. Um, or you can watch it streaming live over YouTube, like a live animated film. Uh, those are your two options. So our performers will actually be in a studio in Binghamton, New York, um, for every performance, every curtain, wearing full motion capture gear, and we'll be doing facial tracking and body tracking. Um, and as they move in the real world, as they sing, so too will the avatars representing them in the story. So the opera that we're producing is, uh, is, is really a dystopian, steampunk, future Manhattan uh, courtroom drama. It's a lot of things. And as the story unfolds, you are transported to various scenes in the lives of the characters to observe what happened and to try to figure out, sort through uh, who committed this crime and why. Uh, there's a, a level of interactivity to it. And I, I think it's gonna be incredibly exciting, incredibly compelling, but there's so much room to develop it. Uh, one of the things that's exciting about this format uh, of, of viewing performance art is it has the best elements of doing a big giant Broadway show with 1,500 seats so you can fit a lot of people in the house, but also the intimacy of much smaller immersive theater. And that's something that's really special. So COVID or not, 
I think this format of performing arts has a future, uh, and, and this is a great opportunity to debut it.